am a fan of Golden Hoops. Second one wasn't, but he fouled him several times, then fouls him again. Oh, but then Rivers just throws the ball, bats it off LeBron James's head. And James now just walks away. And I don't, that wasn't intentional. He I swatted the ball and went off of LeBron's head. Didn't mean it right away, let him know it. West Jeremiah, yeah. Brooklyn's Big Daddy Kane once said on a song, I guess physical. And that is pretty much what happened the rest of the way. And uh, Kane also was quoted as saying, bringing much terror in your era. See, West tackles Martin, and uh, yeah, this this isn't this isn't football. Flagrant foul. Teams meet on the court. And now a whistle got a technical. And that's going to be on Murray. Frustration's clearly starting to set in here by this young Denver Nuggets team. Yes. And you just love it, huh, Rich? Oh, you, this you is like great. It, right? See, look what I'm talking He's getting pushed out yeah. here. I don't have to move. <laughs> I don't have to. I'm just standing here. <laughs> because Murray. Chris has been there. <laughs> there goes Harris. Oh, denied by Howard. Wow. And had words oh. for Gary Harris. Probably the spin, and he shakes Howard a two-handed jam of the second quarter. Yeah, but Plumley had words for Danny Green. We were just a minute <laughs> ago, go. it was Dwight Howard having words for Gary Harris on that block. I'm already loving how this series is shaping up, guys. Six and a half to go in the second. LeBron trying to turn the corner, just plows through Murray, and it's going to be a block. Look at LeBron. Take him off the blocks right Damn there. On. But look at LeBron's reaction. See, you're the rest of your teammates, they feed off of him. Just a terrific all-around game for James. DJ Tucker's going to come back in, and Austin Rivers. And someone in the Laker group is talking to Russell Westbrook and waving goodbye to him. boiling over but clearly somebody from the stands okay. throws it up and that'll do it Brad Stevens was upset it's all over the Raptors win and their season is still alive there will be a game seven fittingly in this series some amazing individual performances Marcus Smart upset they thought there was the, the Celtics were trying to draw a foul and you see the players drawing at each other you don't want to see a, a great competitive game spoiled by anything afterwards the Celtic players trying to get smart away from the Raptor players this was just great theater here in the bubble see watch trying to draw the foul smart trying to draw the foul on Marc Gasol off the ball like that as the Celtics for the second time this season. Probably about a five minute rest. These guys can play huge minutes. Excellent. We got a little uh, altercation between Jokic and Beverly. And that's Okay, the, that's a foul, yeah, yeah. on Jokic. Said, I'm a peaceful man. Boy, this is a game devoid of any kind of flow or rhythm with these uh, fouls like that and stoppages. You don't see a whole lot of reaction from Steven Adams. And this was him walking off the floor during that timeout. Dennis Schroeder coming over to kind of quiet him down a little bit. Jokic outside, Beverly the close, and a foul down low. And Morris and Millsap, chin to chin, eye to eye, and they got to be separated. Two rugged players. And if you're Morris, you got to be careful here. I mean, him and Beverly, they're the, the enforcers on this team. They're the guys that do all the dirty work. But you also have to be smart, too. Being up 3-1 and a chance to move on to the conference finals in the starting lineup. Morris picked up. Hustle down low right there. Yes. Yeah, Millsap pushed took him. exception. Some hand exchanges there, at least on that look. 
then some John between the two of them. And Kyle Lowry is still upset coming out the huddle. Thought he's out of bounds on the review. You heard John Goble, they're just going to double check on the out of bounds. Nick, Nick Nurse is, is upset. Now that happens all the time. So they're checking for the timeout. He just wanted, don't call timeout, let us just inbound. The Celtics were walking off. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. No, but. no that particular way, no, probably, probably not. With 4.05 left in the second quarter. Chris Paul on the other end gets the switch he wants. Russell Westbrook almost got himself a technical foul right there. Here's what happened during that last exchange. Foul on Schroeder, the block. Rockets might be down 2-1, but they have shown no tendency to back down against the Los Angeles Lakers, especially that guy, P.J. Tucker, going with LeBron and Dwight Howard over there. Tucker's already got a block. They'd like to get Tucker loose for some more corner threes, but boy, has he been terrific. Gordon on the drive. Step back jumper. P.J. Tucker battling LeBron. Tucker comes up with the loose ball. LeBron falls on top of it. Wrestling for the loose ball. Jump ball called. LeBron jumps on the body of P.J. Tucker. Mark, they haven't released the all-defensive teams yet, but I'll tell you right now, I put P.J. Tucker on one of my all-defensive teams. It's hard to believe he's never made one. Which is a crime. I voted for him. He lost it going down the lane. Out to Murray. Shot clock at five. And he the foul goes on Beverly. Is over there pleading his case. <laughs> he's telling him it's challenged. <laughs> <laughs> Comes up with his fourth. Kind of hard to tell from that angle right there. Beverly is there. Look at the defense by Beverly. Look at the move by Grant. Offers a shoulder into Pat's chops and down goes Beverly and that's another foul. Look, he is so feisty. <laughs> but that's how that's how he has made this league. That's why he's lasted as long mm -hmm. as he's lasted. Technical such a foul. Valuable. Technical foul too. Yep. On Beverly. We're not the time to get it. Uh oh, he's just been tossed. Wow. So Murray will be at the line. The Clippers. Beverly is obviously frustrated. Foul on Rondo, who's second, team second. That'll be the third team foul. Westbrook chatting with Caruso and Rondo. Foul on number nine, Rondo. His third, team third. Well, one thing for sure is that Westbrook... He... And Rondo said to stay home. He didn't want any double teams. And a foul on the pass. That'll be now the 14 foul. <laughs> and you can't say better double down 29. And the bronze even laughing, so he switches on to Westbrook, and here's what I'm talking about. The conversation going on with Rondo and Westbrook, and LeBron thoroughly entertained. Houston gets it back. But again, Russell Westbrook should think this is not going to happen. And he drills the three. And he's talking to anyone that wants to listen. What are you talking about? That's right, Russ. It's a 10-0 run for the Houston Rockets, squaring up on one of the best defenders in the NBA, Butter. They're five for six from three-point range. Rivers on the drive. Caruso is on him, and a foul on Alex Caruso. Well, that's what Austin Rivers does best. He can attack the basket off the dribble, puts his head down there. We're a couple of coaches here with Midwest roots. Lowry wanting an explanation from Courtney Kirkland. That's his third foul. The explanation is that I would give him is, Kyle, you fouled him four times on the play. <laughs> I gave you the first three and called the fourth one, so. And we got a technical here. Lowry's gonna draw the tee. Serge Ibaka is the most vocal out there. And finally, hearing enough of it. <laughs>